Hey guys and welcome back to another episode on the Chaos Craft server. Now some of you guys may have noticed that there was an episode on Friday which is meant to be my new Chaos Craft day that I upload. But if you follow me on Twitter guys and Instagram you would have seen I made a tweet on Friday of like a needle in my hand and uh, a lot of you guys were worried but there's nothing to be worried about. It's just a routine uh, hospital visit that I go to and I so basically I went to the hospital on Friday and uh, I was really tired when I got back so I didn't get a chance to record it so I thought you know what instead of missing an episode because I promised you guys I wasn't going to miss any episodes anymore let's do it on the old day instead on Sunday and uh, we'll be back to the normal schedule of Friday next week so in the last episode guys we started working on the walls and things like that and as you can see in my spare time I have finished off the walls all the way around now we made that decision about the roof you know where I was going to like uh, cut it off in certain places and stuff like that it wasn't as straightforward as what I thought it would be like here. See here it looked a bit weird in my opinion because you can see the window going straight onto the wall and I didn't really like it. So I like the way I've cut off the roof here. So I finished all these walls and I just did the roof in that area there. But in this room right here, I think it looks better with the roof going like this because I think the windows add that extra bit of light and it just looks nice. So I left the roof like this in this room. Uh, all these rooms have the shallow roof as you can see right here. And we're going to go back into this room and as you can see I've got some markings here because this is what we're going to be working on today we're going to be working on the kitchen area and this area right here I've just done some markings we're going to be actually furnishing this area so it should look really nice I've left the roof like this in this area because I think it looks nice I like the high ceilings in this and the window doesn't get in the way of any walls um, this part right here I've left it like this because I think it might be a bit weird I haven't got round to doing the roof here yet I might do it I'm not sure but I don't think it looks too bad so I might leave it and this part over here is the same as that that part right there all I've really done is finished off all the walls and started marking out some furnishing I did put some holes here as well so mobs can't get through because I keep getting a ton of creepers in my house like th look, there's creepers everywhere around here so many mobs I guess because it's a plains biome but there's so many mobs and one thing I also I have changed guys is I've changed the shader packs and we're now using uh, I think it's called sealed silders shader pack let me show you let me show you it's here somewhere shaders this one Silders Vibrant Shaders Medium. That is the one we are now using uh, on the server because Sonic Ether's shader pack is really nice. It's it's really pretty on the outside, like the clouds and stuff look really good. But when you're inside of a building, it's super, super dark. And a lot of you is complaining about it being dark, but this shader pack, it still looks really nice on the outside. But on the inside of buildings, as long as you have a light source, like a torch or something, you can still, I fell from my own trap. <laughs> you can still see so um yeah so we switched we switched over to this texture pack for now this resource what am i talking about this shader pack we switched over to this shader pack for now so we can actually see on the inside something must have blown up here like that must be Zai. something must have blown up there but we need to take down that christmas tree i'm scared about that because that is going to blow up my roof so i'm actually scared about that but let's get on to the main thing that we're doing today guys and that is decorating this room right here some of you may already be able to tell that this is going to be the kitchen dining room and a little seating area my original plan was to make this like the kitchen dining room and lounge area but after i started planning it out just making some markings with some dirt blocks it wasn't really big enough so I thought, you know what, I'm going to make this just a little small kitchen, a little dining area, add a little divider there and just make this a little seating area where you can sit down and just like chill, you know. Uh, I might move this over so it's in the middle. I'm not 100% sure yet, but we'll see how that goes. Uh, I think in these are going to be bedrooms, maybe one could be like an office or something. But this room over here, I said that this was going to be like the master bedroom. But what I think I'm going to do with this room now, because we can't have the living room and lounge in that room over there, I think this is going to be the living room and I think it'll be a good room like the TV could be on this wall we could sit down here it's going to let a lot of light in I think it's going to look really really cool so let's go back over over this way over here and we can start working on this area now I collected all the blocks that I need my inventory is a huge mess but let's start off with the kitchen area over here now I want to do something a little bit different I don't really when I build kitchens I usually build really big kitchens but I want to do something that's a little bit different from me and I got heavily inspired by one of the tours that I did recently on the server you guys might have seen it is by it was the oriental modern house by XC 
awesome awesome house and it inspired me on how to furnish my house and I want to do something similar to that so um, let's do that my house is no way near as big as his house so I can't really do the same thing I wouldn't want to do the same thing anyway that's about getting inspiration you know you need to inspire yourself so you can do different things and change it up and stuff like that but let's do something like that because he had a small little kitchen in his house and I thought you know what that doesn't look too bad so that's something that I want to do in this area right here so this is what we're going to do we're going to go with a kitchen now as the house is very dark now I told you guys like it's really dark with the dark wood and stuff so I want them to make the inside as light as possible I want the insides to be a lot of whites and stuff like that so we're gonna have a nice contrast like the outside of the house is dark the floors are dark and stuff but we're gonna have a nice contrast with the inside of the house look there's so many mobs around here it's absolutely crazy I'm hoping it's still gonna be light enough for me to build as um it turns to night time so I'm hoping it's still gonna be good so let's do this so what I want to do is I want to grab myself some pillar quartz I want to build this up maybe one two and then oh it's pillar quartz is quite hard to pass uh, place three um, let's go four for now let's just jump up on here and just do another one I might adjust this a little bit later on is it still light enough yeah it's still good and then what I want to do here I want to bring this out one I'm gonna use upside down stairs and we're gonna go all the way to the end right here we're going to leave a one block gap so let's just put that there like that and i'm going to run this all the way around and this is kind of going to kind of be the kitchen counter let's leave this block here actually because oh i didn't mean to do that let's leave this block here because this is going to be like the sink so i'm going to put a stair there like that that's going to be the sink and then i'm going to put that there so that's going to be our sink right there then i'm going to put this all the way across to the other side and this is going to be like a just a tiny little kitchen pretty much uh is it getting weird uh it's not too bad it's not too bad. It looks a bit orangey, but it's not too bad. Let's go get that white concrete block because concrete blocks are very difficult to get, and I don't want to waste any blocks. Like if I if I break a block by mistake, I'm definitely going to get it. So yeah, um, this is what it's going to be like. It's going to be a little kitchen counter right here. So what I want to do next is just grab myself my slabs once again. Just use these ones right here and just place these. Oh no, just place them upside down across here and go all the way across right there. So I'm not using as many. So let's grab that like that and then put that one back there and then what I'm thinking is next to the sink maybe have one two three yeah just have, let's put a pillar quartz right there maybe I should make this bigger I'm not sure no let's see how it goes let's see how it goes let's put a pillar quartz right here I don't need to break it actually let's just do that like that for now and then maybe we could put like a little shelf area right here so let's do that that and then oh should I go up one more maybe I should go up one more let's put that like that yeah, I think it would look better if it's up one higher. The higher, the better, because it's going to be kitchen cabinet, so it's going to look a lot better if it's a lot higher. And that kind of goes to there, and goes to there. And then on this one here, we could just put, like, upside down stairs. Don't tell me I've run out of stairs already. I thought I got enough. Oh, I've got another stack. There we go. All right, so there we go. We've got, like, a little shelf, kind of like a mini pantry area, I guess you can call it. Then on this side, what we're going to do, we're going to put that there like that. Then we're going to put this there like that. And then we're just going to make a little kind of like overhead cabinet for the kitchen. So let's do that all the way over here. I've got loads of slabs left, haven't I? Yep. Let's do that. Oh, wait. Should I change? No, that's good. That's good. And then I could just do that like that. So make it look a little bit different. Instead of using stairs all the time, just add a little slit in the middle right there. It just looks like a little cabinet where you would put stuff like that. That actually looks quite decent for a kitchen counter. It will look better in the daytime. Whoa, that looks so cool. Look at that. That looks so cool with like the mountain and the moon and stuff. I feel like I want to take a screenshot right there. Um, it won't look as orange <laughs> because of the shader pack. But when we get some natural lighting and stuff in here, it will look really good. So that's going to be our kitchen counter right there. So obviously, what I want to do is a little island here. I like that, actually. I think it looks good. I want to do a little island here. But I want to do something different for this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, get my axe and I'm going to knock out the floor. Because I want the floor to be a slightly different color to the rest of the, the the wooden floor you know just to add that bit of contrast because like we said we want to lighten up the area and just make it kind of look like a rug but not really a rug because I'm not going to use wool oh I dropped down let's go grab these blocks as well and I want to use light gray concrete for this area because I think it's going to go nice it's going to be a nice color that matches with that's not even light gray concrete it's going to be a nice color that matches with the um 
the quartz and I think it's gonna add a nice tone to it you know so let's just do this all the way across like this I'm obviously gonna replace the ones in the middle but I just wanted to get the right size for it first let's break that block right there so this is gonna be our little kitchen counter now I, there was a few ways I wanted to do this I want to make myself some white glass panes because I was either gonna make the legs of the table with iron trap doors or I'm going to use white glass panes I think I'm going to use white glass panes let's make some of these I've forgotten how to make white stained glass to be honest with you there we go there's some white stained glass it's going to be more than enough right here I don't even need that many uh, let's throw that out I need 16 is enough that's all I need that, honestly that is all I need I don't need any more than that and I've got the blocks if I need them so let's let's sleep we're here right now let's just go to sleep make it brighter so we can actually see the proper color and see what it's going to look like right let's go in here there we go See how things just turn less orangey when you're in the texture pack? Like, this is a really nice uh, shader pack, but if things were just less orangey, I think it would be really, really cool. Like, if they could just up the white balance a little bit. So, let's do this part here. So, this is going to be, let's get rid of all this. Uh, these are where chairs are going to go, obviously. So, we can get rid of that as well. And let's just get rid of these. And once we've done, I'm going to leave that dirt there because I want to mark out the table legs first so let's put that there like that now what i'm thinking is it's going to be very very simple but simple is kind of like how modern is kind of thing you know so if i get rid of this one here and i get rid of this one here like that we can put some white stained glass panes as the legs just put two there like this two there like that it won't look like that guys because the the dirt is just connecting to it right now it will just look uh, nice and sleek like this there we go and this is going to be kind of like the kitchen counter you know so now what i can do is actually oh i can't pick that up no uh we need to put some string down so i'm gonna need to replace the floor first so let's break the floor so we can put our gray concrete all the way underneath it so it looks really cool there we go let's get our gray concrete once again boom put that all the way across there and we should be good right there so let's put our string down because we're gonna need some string in the middle I think we're gonna need one extra on the end as well let's do that then we need to grab ourselves some white carpet because like I said guys it's gonna be very white looking in this house let's put that on there I haven't built or furnished anything in such a long time this feels very strange I feel like I'm a bit rusty like obviously I do my tutorial videos and stuff but I haven't built or furnished anything in a long time that looks good I like that a little nice little island in the middle there and we're going to get some black carpet and this is going to kind of represent like the cooker and this is kind of one of the ideas that I got from XC on the server where he just puts a little bit of black carpet there and it looks like the cooker for the kitchen so there we go or oven cooker stove top whatever you want to call it a lot of people made fun of me because I called it a cooker in the stream and it's like it's not a cooker where I'm from <laughs> it is where, where I'm from is in England we call it a cooker because it cooks things that's what we do so um yeah so this is going to be a little kitchen area this is kind of what I wanted just a nice mini minimalistic kitchen area right there now we need to add some seats in this area I'm gonna just use very minimal seats like that I think looks pretty good we're just gonna use some slabs right there now I want to add a fan like an extractor fan over this uh, area right here now this is what we're gonna use for our iron trap doors now we need to get the height right though and I think these need to be upside down ones. so is that too high no that looks decent enough Right, we're going to need to build up a little bit here just to kind of like get up on here like this there we go um and there we go oh fell off so guys as i'm building this little fan there's a few there's one thing i wanted to talk about on the channel recently um so i guess i really shouldn't really address this because it's kind of just paying attention to the haters where i really shouldn't but i, I feel like i should say something a little bit now there's been a few people, a handful of people, not many. The majority of people say very nice things on the channel and stuff like that. But there's been a few people saying in my comment section, this channel is dead. That's what they've been saying. Now, it makes me laugh when people say this, in mainly because it's the furthest thing from the truth. And I'm not exaggerating when I say this, guys. Like, you can go check this up your, yourself. And some of you might be thinking, oh, he's addressing this because he's like butthurt or something like that. But I just think it's a bit silly because I, I, I do think there's a good reason why people think this. And that's what I kind of want to explain. But like I said, it's the furthest thing from the truth. Right now, my channel and last year and the start of this year i've never really got amazing views i know i never really get amazing like captain sparkle kind of views right but my channel is doing the best it's ever done it since i started it now there's a lot of people that used to watch my channel back in the day um 
and I think just they had the perception back then that my channel was this really big channel and it did uh, amazingly well and that and honestly I'm grateful for that that you guys held me in that standard that it did like really really good but the truth is guys back then my channel never used to do that great um it never really did that well back in the day like i would get maybe five hundred thousand views a month something like that which is not too great considering uh how well some minecraft channels do so um back then even though you guys felt like the channel was good and stuff like that and it was doing really well it wasn't doing well view wise we had a nice little community like we used to always just talk and get along that's kind of like the fan that i want to do guys that looks pretty cool i like that yeah um we had a nice little community going on i did a lot of streams i used to talk to you guys a lot and stuff and, and we had a cool little community so that's why probably people felt that the channel was a bit bigger than what it was but that was my intention i wanted i wanted you guys to kind of feel like you you was a part of it as well like it was our channel you know that's what i wanted to do that was my intention that's what i wanted but i think what it is with these people coming to the channel in the comment section and saying that and i know a lot of youtubers get this and there's going to be some youtubers probably saying oh you shouldn't even address that it's just trolls pretty much and i know that i know it's trolls but i just wanted to say it just in case other people see it and they think like oh is that true kind of thing but um what it probably is is that these people that say these things they probably used to watch my channel back in the day and that's totally fine they were a, they were a fan of the channel back in the day but what's happened now is their interests are not my channel and they're not it's not minecraft or it's not anything like that and that's totally acceptable like guys back in the day i used to watch minecraft videos and i don't watch the same minecrafters that i watch nowadays i don't the reason i started minecraft is because i used to watch minecraft videos but i don't watch the same channels anymore so it's totally understandable that people don't watch the same channels um but i think where they don't watch you anymore they just assume that your channel's dead but like I said, guys, you can go check for yourself. You can go on Social Blade, uh, which is a YouTube statistics site. And you can type my name in and you can compare my statistics to now and to back then. My channel is doing like 200 times better than it was now. No, than it was then than it is now. Like my channel is, is in the best place it's ever been right now. And I'm happy about that. I know part of that is because I brought back tutorials and stuff. It's kind of like the old stuff I used to do. And also which i think contributes to it not the channel doing well but people saying this stuff that they say i think uh what contributes is it is that certain series don't do as well as they used to like chaos craft for example it's a good time to talk about that i guess chaos craft is not as popular as what it used to be and that is totally fine with me like things come and go guys it's like tv shows you watch a tv show someone a tv show that you used to watch like five years ago or four years ago because you have to think my channels are nearly six years old now guys so a tv show you used to watch like four or five years ago is not as popular as it was then as it is now that's just life guys certain series don't can't stay around forever and that you go look at any of your youtubers there's only like a handful of youtubers that can maintain one series for such a long amount of time and it still get the same amount of views there are a lot of youtubers out there that do have series that have been going for a long time but i guarantee if you compare the views to four years ago or you compare the views to now if the series has been going that long it's not as good as it was and that's just that's just youtube guys things change on youtube you know things change all the time new things come popular things stop getting popular and that is just it is i think it's safe to say oh do i want to use black here or white i'm going to try them both i think it's safe to say guys minecraft is not as popular as what it used to be and that reflects in certain series like minecraft let's plays minecraft let's plays in general and i'm not just talking about my channel are just not as popular as what they used to be they are really really not and that's just the way it is that is just the the landscape we live in on on i need to go and make some more that's just the landscape we live in on youtube you know things just die and things come back but it doesn't mean channels die because minecraft is dying it doesn't like i like i told you guys my channel's doing the best it's ever done and i know i keep reiterating that but i just wanted to make it clear because it doesn't bother me because at the end of the day i look at my statistics and i know how well it's doing but i didn't want people to see comments like that and get put off by it like oh yeah his channel's dying because there are a lot of people on youtube that get easily convinced by comment section and other people you know a lot of people easily convinced i know there's a lot of smart people out there as well and they just they know it's a troll uh, so they don't even bother paying attention to it but there are some people out there that do believe this stuff so i just wanted to address that just in case you saw any of them comments because 
the channel is far from dead it's not going to die i know i've got a second channel that's doing really well as well but i'm never ever going to stop this channel it's always going to be minecraft as long as minecraft is a thing like if minecraft stays popular i will keep doing it because minecraft isn't the most popular game at the moment not a lot of people play it. a lot of people have moved on but it's still got its audience and as long as it still has its audience that's as long as I'm going to do it, guys. I'm still going to do it as long as Minecraft has audience because I still do enjoy the game. I enjoy playing other games as well because it's a little bit refreshing having a break from Minecraft, but I still enjoy it. But I just wanted to get that out there, guys, because I, I have seen it. Like, when I say a handful of people, it's literally a handful of people, guys. I've probably seen four three comments of saying that like over the last i would say two months of people saying this channel's dead this channel's dead and i know guys i know i shouldn't pay attention to those people and i don't but i what i'm trying to say tell you guys is that you guys shouldn't pay attention to these people just in case you are and that's why i kind of wanted to say it because we're in a really good place with the channel and the channel is doing really well like i know i shouldn't talk about views and stuff like that but statistically like the amount of people subscribing the amount of views we're getting and stuff it is the most views my channel has ever gotten last year was the best year for big 87 x channel and this january is going to be the best january ever for the big 87 x channel so we're in a good place guys and we're going to keep on going we're going to keep doing new keep not i'm going to say new things but we're going to keep doing things that we always do to keep maintaining the channel and that is what we're going to do so don't worry if you think the channel's not going in the right direction it is judging by statistics and viewers and subscribers we're going in the right direction and people are still enjoying what we say just ignore not what we say what we do just ignore the haters and stuff you don't need to listen to them guys you really really don't and i'm not going to listen to them either but there is one thing i would like from you guys if you're still here in the video i want a, a suggestion from you guys i want to know what new things you want me to bring to the channel because that is something i want to do for 2018 i want to bring some new stuff to the channel because i enjoy doing my tutorials i enjoy doing my chaos craft I, i'm not a big fan of let's plays anymore that like i told you guys they do get a little bit stale after a while too many like i've been playing chaos craft for so long but i want to do some different stuff and i know some of you said in the last video how about a modded series and i will think about that that is something i could do i've done modded before i did crazy craft and with fancy and i deactivate and that went down really really well so that is something that um i could definitely bring back but if you guys want to see me play mini games again or anything like that just let me know let me know and we can definitely kind of try and bring some of that back and see how it goes on the channel because new year new start you know try some new stuff and see how it goes because like i said guys we're in a position right now where we're in a good place and we could try new stuff and it's not going to affect the channel it's not like it's going to um make people run away or anything like that because we're just trying some different stuff um so we're in a we're in a position now where we can actually try these things and I, and I do like that so um yeah so that's a nice little couch right there so that's kind of my little rant for today's video i wanted to get that off my chest i really love that view guys look at that that looks so awesome it really does i wanted to get it off my chest because it's just something i've been noticing it's not a big deal it's not been bothering me because like i said you guys can go check it for yourself if, if you don't believe it i mean i'm mainly talking to the haters here because i know i know the thing is about haters guys they, they say all this stuff but they still watch your videos so it's a little bit contradicting when it comes to haters but i'm mainly saying it to the haters like go check it out for yourself the channel's in a good place the people enjoying the channel are enjoying what i do and i'm enjoying doing it as well so did i use all that snow well that's good <laughs> i used all that snow for that couch okay we're gonna have to make a little i wanted to make another couch right here but i guess i'm gonna have to make a different type of couch i'll just i'm this is just a a placeholder oh that looks quite fancy right there look at that i didn't mean to do that with a stair but that looks kind of good let's uh put that there i might do this with the other one too so you guys can tell me what stair you prefer i mean what um couch you prefer so we've got a little seating area right there but there we go guys that was quite simple as we started talking about other stuff it, it turned out pretty nice we need to figure out the lighting in here i think i'm going to do some kind of like hanging lights from the ceiling like i said i got a lot of inspiration from xc in his kitchen and he had some hanging lights there i might do some something similar to that because they would look really really good but there we go i think it looks really really cool let's go to sleep quickly and look at it in the daytime and uh, get a proper view for it and i will show you without shaders too so you guys can see it in both ways like with in in daylight and without shaders and see what you guys think but i think the ca the kitchen look really nice we want to go for a really modern light theme in this house yeah i'm liking it guys 
I'm liking it. I'm not sure whether this should be black or white though. I might test it out in the next episode. Just a little divider right there. But I am liking this. I think that looks, yeah, I like that. So there we go, guys. There is the shader pack off and we can see what it actually looks like. Obviously, the torches around are completely ugly. But once we sort out the lighting in here, I think it looks really good. Might get some pictures up like around here on that wall and stuff like that. But where the windows are, it's looking really nice. I do like it. So there we go. A really simple, monomalist, mono, monomalistic? What the heck is monomalistic? minimalistic kitchen and uh looking really sleek i'd like it i like the glues using the glass as the legs i think that looks pretty cool so there we go guys our nice simple kitchen but i think i'm going to end this episode here guys every episode now we're probably going to start working on a room maybe this one next oh i think i'm going to go for the lounge next i'm going to do the living room area next i'm going to start working on the rooms and what do you think about this right here the slabs underneath the doors i'm not sure about it i'm really not sure about it let's put it here see what it looks like i just thought maybe it could add a bit of contrast to that area it doesn't look too bad. I'll leave it for now. But there we go, guys. I'm going to end the episode here. I've been rambling on enough. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. And thank you so much for the support you guys gave the channel 2017. Because I know I've been mentioning all this stuff about haters and stuff. But sometimes I have to give more attention to the people who support the channel. Because they're the people that really matter. And without you guys and without the support of you watching my videos and subscribing. And if you're a new subscriber, thank you so much for all the support that you gave me in 2017. It was the best year for the Big 87 x channel and without you guys it wouldn't be possible so thank you so much and I don't think I said that enough last year because we really did do really well and if you're a new subscriber towards the end of last year or anything like that thank you so much and if you're an old subscriber and you're still around watching my videos thank you so much for sticking around for like five six years it's crazy some of you guys probably started watching my videos when you were like 12 and now you're like 17 18 absolutely crazy um but thank you so much guys for all the support and hopefully we can have just as good as a 2000 uh, i can't speak today just as good a 2018 as well but guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed it and i'll see you again in another episode on the chaos craft server